My name is Alexis Fernandez. Um, I also prefer Lex. I'm from Salinas, California, which is a small farm town 45 minutes south from San Jose. I chose KRS because at my junior college, I was majoring in math with intentions to be a teacher, but I realized that I didn't really want to be inside of the classroom. So I said, okay, well, what do I like? What do I love? I love fitness, so I chose kinesiology. And I graduated with two AAs from my junior college, and I chose UH and graduated with my bachelor's in kinesiology. The road throughout my college career, it wasn't so linear, it was hard. There was a lot of financial hardships and then also mental and emotional hardships I had to go through. but. I always knew that it was going to be a part of who I am and it was to make not only myself proud but my family proud who are immigrants. So to be one of the first children to have a degree, I knew it was going to be very important to my family and my ancestors. My road to college was always clear. It was to attend college and to graduate college. Um, I have an older brother who attended San Diego State University and he was my role model and my inspiration to definitely attend and to finish school. But my road throughout college wasn't necessarily linear or easy. Um, I definitely experienced many financial hardships and you know, emotional and mental hardships. But I pursued that and I realized that this degree that I'm pursuing isn't necessarily for me. It's for my immigrant parents who are from Mexico and the Philippines, you know, who moved countries to provide a better life for their children. So that's definitely what um, kind of drove me through college. So my experience finding funding was kind of through our emails. So the university would send out a number of emails and I was always looking and I was always scouting. So whenever I would receive an email, I would read the requirements and then if it applied to me, I would always apply immediately. I heard that funds can run out and you know, I took it as first come first serve. So another method that I kind of took advantage of was my academic advisor. I had spoken to her and I asked her, hey, do you know of any other opportunities where I can get some financial assistance? And she sent me an email with everything that I needed to know. I applied and I got it. So I definitely think it could be that easy if you really, really try. You know, the worst that they can say is no. And I'm always an advocate for that. And another method I used was the internet. So, you know, searching at UH, all the websites that UH provides, um, any other, I just literally in the Google bar, uh, scholarships, UH Manoa, and so much popped up. So I think utilizing the internet was a huge factor. I received $22,000 in funding, and that's apart from the $10,000 that I received in a loan. But I think the $22,000 helped me out tremendously. Um, it is the reason why I chose to pursue my, high, my higher education. Without that, I definitely would not have um, pursued it because I was practically paying for college on my own. I possibly wish that somebody would have let me know that advisors are there for not necessarily picking out your classes, but also there to help you figure out what type of financial assistance you can receive. Um, I didn't really learn that until my second year. So I think having that idea that, you know, your academic advisors are there for pretty much anything and everything that you need help with. My best advice to someone starting their journey at a university is to simply apply um, to whatever scholarship, whatever funding that you're interested in. The worst that they can say is no, and in my opinion, spending a few days, um, even a week or two, researching the applications, the scholarships, and creating those essays, I think it's worth the thousands of dollars that you can and you will be saving by um, getting accepted possibly. I think what was most helpful for me was the WUE program, the Western Undergrad Exchange Program. It allowed me to pay 150% of a resident's tuition. And my best advice to people who are starting out their university career is to speak with your um, TAs, your academic advisors, your professors, even your, if you work on campus, your direct manager, supervisor, there's so much knowledge out there and um, UH is a great school and so helpful. All the faculty staff, they're always willing to help. It's more of a family rather than a teacher and student situation. So I think just remembering that if you need help, nobody will know unless you're speaking about it and you're voicing your um, need of assistance. And there's always gonna be someone that's willing to help you, especially at a family-oriented university.